no, no. Hello there. Oh, if you could hear our chats over the break. <laughs> uh, welcome back to this morning. It's time for our phone in now, where our vet, Dr. Scott, is here to take you hey, guys. Hello, Lovely to see Scott. Scott. First of all, congrats on your first week. Oh, we're really um, lovely. Lovely to be part of the family. Um, and second of all, I'm going to ask a, a personal family question. Yes. Uh, animals. Yes. Um, can you tell me about your pets, please? Uh, so we've got a couple of rabbits that Jack had for a birthday for. Uh, maybe five or six years ago, if not longer. Uh, they live in the garden, they're very happy rabbits, they get looked after brilliantly. I wouldn't say they're amazing pets. Right. Uh, because they sort of run away from you a lot. Right. But, and they're very happy on their own <laughs> okay. in the garden. No, they're in a, in, a, in a hutch in the garden. I'm not just letting them out there uh, to roam free. The and more you play with important. them, the more social they get. But yeah. they can be very grumpy kind of rabbit. Very are. territorial. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I had a, a puggle got out next door to a basset hound. <laughs> They had lots of fun. Wow. And then... Special um, cuddles, yeah. Special cuddles. Mm. And then Pumble I cuddles. ended up with the runt of the litter, a lady named Lily, oh. and she lived to be about 15. She oh. died at the um, in August. I'm so sorry. Which was... It was terrible. She got, like, a grey muzzle. But she was so... so she was your heart dog. She was She was amazing. Yeah. But she had a lot... Towards the end of her life, she actually had quite a few... She did her cruciate ligament mm. on the one side and then on the other. Indeed. It was... Expensive. So, I mean, and there are reports, aren't there, that vet yes. bills have been sort of going up and up and up, and yeah, some vets may be really overcharging. Scott. Yeah. So, look, it, it is uh, a challenging time for vets, and um, there's a number of elements to this. So, we have seen in our industry corporatisation, which means that now a vets that used to be run by the vet, mm -hmm. um, who are big-hearted people who do the job because they love animals, not mm. because they're trying to have a, a job that pays them loads of money, um, but it has moved to more of a corporate um, setup, which means that there are Profits are maybe a little bit more involved. Um, the individual vets on the ground still have virtually no um, impact on the charges. So please, we're seeing a lot of people get. So it's preset. Yeah, in a lot of ways, yes. But the the vets themselves, the nurses and the reception, please, everyone, be kind. Don't, because don't get irate with that, them. And, they, and they're they're people are getting people are getting hammered because of this report. What I would say, people have talked about the, um, you may have seen the article about uh, people wanting to use uh, medications over the counter for their animals. Human medications, uh, yes. though, right? Now, we're, there are a number of medications that we use which are prescribed for humans, but you have to be so careful. So, um, first of all, we're guided by something called the Cascade. So, we are legally obligated to use a veterinary medication before a human one, even if there's a vast difference in cost. Yeah. And that's a legal obligation, so we can't change that. But also, on the other side of the fence, people that are going, oh, well, I use a paracetamol to make myself better. If you give that to your cat, you will kill it. Um, if you give wow. ibuprofen so to your dog or your cat, you will kill it. Wow. If you give your dog toothpaste, you will kill it. Wow. So there are a lot of dangers to using medications that you think might be OK for you or your child, but it's not OK for your fur baby. Mm -hmm. So I just think a I've lot of understanding needs to be involved. travel here. sickness tablets before. Yeah. Children's travel sickness tablets, are they... Are you supposed to use those or uh, not? I, was, I, I would... Now I'm your personal vet, I would advise against that. Fine. Yeah. OK, mm. I'll never do that again. Yeah. It's, it's, yes, just, just on the side of caution. Very okay. much so. Uh, let's get to our quarters. Yes, let's yes. do it. Joanna is on the uh, phone line and she says our rescue dog is allergic to everything. Yes. Good morning, Joanna. Hi, Joanna. Good morning, everybody. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yes, yeah, so we rescued our oh. beautiful um, English bull terrier, Rocco, um, in December 22. Um, he was in a real mess. His nails had been allowed to grow into his pads. Mm. He'd rubbed the skin off his stomach and his knees. Yeah. Um, consequently, we've tried numerous treatments from our vets as well as natural remedies. We've changed him to a raw diet, mm -hmm. um, which has really helped. Okay. Um, he now has a cytopoint injection every yeah. six weeks yeah. and antihistamines every day, which, again, has really helped. However, yeah. he, he retains a very congested nose and is very snotty all the time. I have to walk okay. around constantly with tissues. Bless um, him. He's got big nose, too. <laughs> he's just a very a runny snot. nose, bless him. Um, and he, he's not very uh, keen on walking either. He's 33 kilos and trying to move him is a little bit of an effort. So okay. any, any help, really? Well, first of all, can I say, you and I are, I think, best friends because my first ever dog was a rescue English Bull Terrier, who looked pretty much exactly like Rocco. That was my first ever he job. Is he beautiful. is a stunner. Um, I love him so much. Triangle face. And you want yeah. to kiss that little muzzle right oh, there a lot. Sniff it. 
They are quite an itchy, scratchy dog because they're a white dog with pink skin, so they're very sensitive. So allergies are very, very common. Mm -hmm. The cytopoint injection you mentioned is uh, an immunomodulating drug, so it sort of almost stops the body from producing the histamine, whereas an antihistamine, and once it's produced, sort of stems it. So okay. um, there are medications above that, which is steroids you might have heard mm. of. They're a lot cheaper, but they can have side effects across the board. So I think the side point is the way to go. Sadly, there isn't any magical cure when it comes to allergies in pets because in the end, you have to manage the symptoms. We can't put them in a ball and avoid them being exposed to things in the environment, their food, et cetera, that because, because could be causing these mm -hmm. allergies. Um, so and it sounds the like... the raw food's made a difference, though. I mean, and that's great. You know, I, I'm always someone that says, you know, whether I believe or agree with something, if an owner has tried something and it's had a positive benefit, I'm all down for it. I'm happy. Okay. So the fact that that's worked for you, I'm really, really happy with that. But what I would say with the nose, sometimes looking, uh, considering endoscopy, again, this is where the expenses come in, but looking at endoscopy, looking up the nose yeah. with a camera to see what's going on mm -hmm. would be really important. And also sometimes with these breeds of dog, soft palate at the back of the throat needs to be assessed and that can impact upon the ability to clear the sinuses. So there may be a little little bit of work that needs to be done with Rocco um, at a bit of expense, so hopefully he's insured, that you can do with your vet and then get over the other side of it. But medication, if it's not working, I think you need to go to investigation as the next port of call. Okay. 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 Thanks, Joanna. Joanna thank thank you. you so much. Thank you for uh, rescuing thanks. him. Love. We've got David in Glasgow. Morning, David. Morning, everybody. Hi, Morning. David. So tell us a little bit about your dog. Oh, well, he's, he's a very, very active dog and uh, we had him out the other morning. Um, and he goes into the water. He's a working <laughs> cocker spaniel. He loves that. the water. Um, very, he needs <laughs> walks all the time. Uh, he was in the water, and he's not been very well since Monday. And oh, today, to today he's had some diarrhoea. Well, mm -hmm. he's had diarrhoea. Yeah. Maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, but today there's a bit of blood okay. leaking through it. So. Yeah. And then you, 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 you think about algae in the water and all that, and yeah. but I'm just a bit concerned. Do you know yeah. if there any advice you could give us? Yeah, so first of all, I can, I can uh, cool your concern regarding algae because if it was that, he'd be much sicker and actually he'd probably be vomiting as the first symptom that he showed. In this case, it's maybe more likely to be Giardia or Giardia, which is a protozoan parasite which lives in shallow little puddles. Mm. Um, it's very common um, in southwest London alongside lots of other places around the UK. So just check and see if you're area is a hot spot for it. There are medications that you can get um, uh, that uh, can treat protozoans that maybe don't require a prescription. But if you were to go into your vet, sometimes you can get them over the counter without seeing um, your vet for a consultation. Uh, and um, it will treat it quite quickly. But it sounds to me like Giardia or Giardia, this protozone is most likely, and it's very easily treated, but it's worthwhile going and getting it treated from today. Excellent. Right. Good Thank stuff, you. David. Thank you. OK, next up, we've got Jackie. Good morning, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi there. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. So tell us a little Hi. bit about your concern for Luna. Yeah, um, I've got uh, two female dogs mm. and we got our first female dog neutered in 2021. Mm -hmm. And it was around about £186-ish. Um, it was the non-keyhole, just the standard. Yep. Um, we've gone to try and look at getting Luna neutered. Uh, with the same op, the same vet, and it's gone up to 485. Mm. It's just like, wow. Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, all I can tell you is that I, I'm pretty shocked at that as well. Um, and just as being a person, just as a human who has to pay bills, who has to look after a family, that's a, a big increase. And from a veterinary standpoint, we have to make sure that we're taking into account the cost of living has increased, so mm -hmm. there are increases to the prices of drugs, etc. But a three times increase in the space of three years seems to me excessive. One of the things that this competition regulation ruling is going to do is try and make prices a little bit more um, apparent to people, and so you can shop around. And the biggest concern mm -hmm. I would say with this is, and what I'm seeing, I'm a big fan and supporter of a lot of rescues, yep. and it's the rescue centres that are struggling because these costs are causing so many issues. They're getting more animals to come in because people can't, can't afford, afford it. it. And yeah. they can't find homes for them because people can't afford it. And then the rescues are stuck with the bill. So I, I take, and uh, the veterinary profession takes full responsibility for trying to manage these things and try and make sure that we, we have your trust. Um, That's a huge increase yeah. in three years though, isn't it? It, it is, it is. So shop around. Shop, shop around, around is yeah. the answer to the question. Hopefully you can find somewhere, Jackie, Jackie, that you can manage it.
Thank uh, you very much. And Scott, thank you very much as well. Brilliant. We'll managed to get through Great the others. There's loads nice of really interesting you. calls. Lovely to have you in, and we will thank get through you. more next time you're in. And can we have a bit more sport chat? Yes, well. <laughs> sport chat. <laughs> more dog chat. First more sport rugby chat. chat ever on this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Wee, I was here to see it. Woo woo. Oi, oi. Love it. <laughs> uh, right then, competition time. We have the biggest.